What's up Church Media Pros? We are talking about live streaming today and modern streaming services. Check it out. Welcome back to Church Media Pro. My name is Aaron and on this channel we talk about all things church media production and sometimes advertising guys. Today we're talking about modern streaming services. In particular I want to hit on hardware uh, uh, encoders so that we can talk about how to get your live stream to the next level. So let's jump into it guys. Most people are using, most churches I should say, are using OBS and uh, using their computer as the encoder. And I do want to say that that's a very viable situation. That's a very viable solution to uh, to going to YouTube or Facebook. Obviously, you can use your. Uh, you don't even need OBS to go straight to Facebook or straight to YouTube. You can just plug in a, a webcam of some sort or some sort of uh, interface like a Blackmagic design or uh, something um, that's going to give you a, a, a encoded signal. Um, coming from a, a camera, uh, but you know right now I'm using a, a DSLR on a camera and I'm going straight into my computer and I could go live um, I'm personally using Ecamm live. I think it's a great option especially for youtubers um, but could absolutely work in a, a streaming uh, sense for for churches guys so I would check that out especially if you're Mac based uh, Ecamm live is currently not in the Mac platform however I think the best way to go and the, the way to go for the best stream quality is actually to go with a hardware encoder, something that's purpose driven, purpose made for encoding modern video, especially if you're if you're shooting in uh, 1080 or higher, if you're in 4K guys, there's no, uh, no better way to, than to go with a hardware encoder because it takes the stress off your computer. Uh, myself and many others like myself are using uh, computers for ProPresenter or um, using the uh, switcher function from you know Blackmagic Designs uh, control software and uh, using all these things on top of a, a, an encoder will really tax your machine. Now of course uh, plenty of machines are fast enough to do all these things at once, but I feel like the best way and the best practice to move forward with a uh, with a streaming uh, service that's going to be the most reliable so that you can make sure, especially if you only have one or two services, guys, it's really important to make sure that stream happens for those who are watching online, especially if they're um, if they're uh, watching to be uh, be a part of the service that they couldn't be at because of illness or because of being out of town or just because they want to check out your church for the first time. So if you if they're to get uh, to know you as a church for the first time, guys, you don't want to fail them because I think that's the uh, the quickest way to uh, you know to make a bad impression, bad first impression. So making sure your online experience is at least uh, working. Uh, if not uh, just as good as your in-house experience or I mean honestly I have opinions about that myself I don't think the in-house uh, experience can ever uh, be replaced with online I'm a big believer in getting the body together um, but if you want to make a good impression on somebody who's just checking you out for the first time online I know most people do this most most people who are looking for a church can go online and, and check out your live stream first. So making that good impression there is going to pay dividends on the back end. And, and not only financially, guys, I'm talking about, um, you know, getting people, uh, you know, to, to know the love of Christ in their life. So um, if we can reach out to them uh, via Facebook or, or YouTube first, let's do that and then get them in the doors and, and pray that God reaches them. Anyway, let's get into the hardware part of things. I'm gonna go to switching to my screen here. Um, like I said, most people are using OBS and that's not a hardware um, uh, you know, device that's, a, that's, a, uh, that's using your computer with the software. Obviously, uh, OBS also has a switcher internally, which is fantastic. Um, another software that I'm, I just mentioned is Ecamm Live, guys. Ecamm Live is fantastic. Um, as well, and it's similar to OBS, um, giving you some options to switch between cameras, to switch between screens, to give you some uh, graphic layers on top of things. You can put in, uh, you know, text on top of your video. You can um, do picture in picture, like I'm doing right now, which is really great, uh, especially if your uh, pastor has a, uh, a slide deck and you want to, uh, you know, do a picture in picture of their face while they're talking 
to the uh, to the congregation and then um, do put their slide up on the screen. These sorts of things can be great with Ecamm Live, and I want to just uh, put a um, you know a bug in your ear for that service. It's pretty inexpensive uh, pricing wise. I think it's uh, yeah sixteen dollars a month for standard, and really don't even need the pro unless you're doing some like. Uh, interviews with another person coming in to like say uh, for for YouTube's sake it, it'd be if I was using um, you know an expert in my field uh, to do an interview I would want to have the pro version to be able to uh, broadcast both of us at the same same time obviously 4k streaming is not uh, included until you get to the pro so that's something to look out for but I wanted to go some through some of the the um, the most modern and uh, most used uh, hardware encoders and that's the meat of my video today so guys we've got um you know i think the most ubiquitous as far as hardware encoders has got to be the the black magic web presenter um, i currently do not use this and so um, have not <laughs> used black magic as an encoder device since the original uh i think the tv studio the original tv studio not the current tv studio but the original one actually had a usb output that would give you a uh, a hardware um, you know, H.264 output. Um, so it did have a uh, internal encoder in it, which was fantastic. I still have mine sitting on a shelf as a backup, guys, just in case. I do have a couple other encoders that we're going to talk about today. One of them being the uh, the Versa Streamer. Um, this one has been fantastic. We have the uh, the Videon Versa Streamer 4K. And we were using this as a fantastic device to go to multiple locations. And this is um, this is something that sets apart. I think the Black Magic only gives you the option of, of of streaming to one location at a time. Now you can take that uh, that download code and or the uh, embed code and, and paste it in other places. But uh, for the most part, you only get one location when you're using the Blackmagic web presenter, as far as I remember, at least. So, um, <clears throat> and then the Versa streamer has some great, uh, it has a web interface similar to the Resi. And if, I'm going to talk about Resi in just a second. But if you're familiar with Resi, Vidion is a, uh, is a viable solution, um, does not cost you a service agreement. It's just... A, uh, a hardware device that that connects to your computer um, and your network and then you just give it a um, I think it's an SDI or uh, HDMI input which is um, you know pretty pretty standard it also gives you a, um, a SD card reader um, uh, to record um, actually so a read and write on the SD card so that you can record as well as as use it as a streaming device so we do uh, we do some backup recording on the video on we've we've used it for that we also have a black magic uh, video recorder as well that we use uh, as a backup source um, for recording as well so um, and last but not least guys resi is the king of the uh, the streaming hardware devices in fact they include service which may may be unreachable and and just looking at these you know encoder prices guys this is what we're talking about um the Vidion is the about the same as the ray as far as the hardware price goes but you don't get the service that you get with resi um with the Vidion encoder so um the biggest thing i have to say about resi is their service is 100 percent worth it especially if you're um if you don't have a lot of tech um, you know, on, or sorry, if you, if you don't have a, a tech, a dedicated tech person that knows video super well, if you've got maybe a sound guy or a bunch of volunteers or, um, and you don't have someone who's dedicated to understanding the ins and outs of, of live streaming guys, I highly recommend going with Resi because they, um, have 24, pretty much 24 seven service. You can, you can get on a hotline, um, after hours to, and I think it costs a little extra beyond that, but I, it's part of one of their service programs. Um, but, uh, I've not had a, a, a need where I, or any time that I've tried to call them and they haven't answered. So whether it's late at night or early in the morning, they don't do 24 hours, but it's usually, you know, within church hours, guys. So um, we have a 6 p.m. service on Saturday night. I've definitely called them at nine o'clock 
you know, just struggling to get the live stream up for the next morning. Some, you know, a glitch happens and, uh, you know, calling them at nine o'clock is, is still absolutely viable time to call them. They're based out of Denver. So you, you're, you're talking about mountain time. So if you're watching this, uh, you know, on the East coast, you, you, you want to think about timing that way, but, um, They've been up as early as 5 a.m. my time, which is actually uh, 4 a.m. In, in, in mountain time. So um, fantastic service, guys. I can't recommend them enough. We actually went with the server grade encoders because we actually got into Resi before they had the Ray. And uh, we will be getting some Rays for our, uh, our campuses in the future where, where we'll be expanding to, but we did start with the, uh, the server grade, uh, the single E1200 series and we have um a couple of of uh, the uh, decoders as well as the encoders so you do have to pay attention make sure that you know which you're getting um on the server side of things guys because um they're not uh bi-directional on the server side you do have to buy a server grade on one end and a uh a decoder on the other end so um just something to think about long uh before, while you're looking through this these hardware devices and uh, check in with resi they do fantastic training they do some great uh, they, they'll video call you or they'll um, conference call you to talk about sales they're just a fantastic company guys and this is what the big boys are using like like elevation and uh, bethel and these sorts of um, churches so um, we we found out what they're using and we grabbed what they were using because we needed a solid uh, service especially doing point to point so we we not only use our um, our uh, encoders for the uh, the online experience. We don't just use them for Facebook and YouTube and an embed on our website. We use them for point to point, um, you know, streaming of our campus to our uh, satellite campuses. And without that, you know, you don't get the same message. You get, you know, you, you, you get the site pastor, which can be very good for building community. However, if you want to expand the vision or uh, not expand, but to, uh, you know, give or disseminate the the the, um, the vision of the lead pastor of your church and and continue to uh, to have a cohesive brand, if you will. Um, you want to make sure that you're getting that video message from your main campus to your satellites, and this is the way to do it. And Resi is the best one that I found. Obviously, you can use uh, you know the Verso Streamer or the Black Magic to um, you know pre-record, or you could go live with one of these uh, systems and download on the other end. Um, but I highly recommend doing Resi because the um, Resi records to a cloud and can um, guarantee that you have a 100% um, uptime stream on the back end as long as your internet connection can handle it. So we uh, installed uh, fiber at both our main campus and our satellite campuses. And that is how we guarantee that our signals are going to be 100% uptime as long as we you know, ha don't have any bugs ahead of time. So um, as long as your stream starts, it's going to finish pretty much on Resi. Um, as long as your as long as your uh, stream your 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 internet connection doesn't get interrupted, and um, the only time it has guys is because of, of other hardware issues on our end. So not the encoders themselves. In fact, they have the, the uh, Resi server grade encoders have like redundant power supplies just to make sure that these things don't fail, and that's why uh, you know they're trusted by Elevation Church and and the like. So. Um, with that, guys, uh, please let me know in the comments what you're using for hardware streaming or if you're using some other software that I didn't mention besides OBS and Ecamm. And I would love to know um, if anybody has more modern suggestions or if you have any questions, please uh, you know, type in the comments. We also have a Facebook community, guys. Head over to Facebook and jump on the group Church Media Pro and uh, comment there. I'll be posting this video there as well. So if you want to comment about the video in there to get more suggestions about live streaming or just be a part of the community in general, go over there. Please smash the like button, hit the subscribe notification bell, and God bless you. I'm out.